Hello, today we're touring a two-level home, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, hardwood floors throughout. This is the living room, which has south-facing bay windows. It's open to the dining area, which is here, and the kitchen as well, which you can see has been nicely renovated. Got stainless steel appliances, including Samsung refrigerator, dishwasher, gas range, plenty of cabinet space and counter space. This entire home has hardwood floors throughout. Down the hall here you have the first full bathroom. So you've got a vanity here, large deep soaking tub with shower overhead. This door just goes to a fire escape. And then you've got a Toto toilet. These stairs go down to the lower level. We'll come back to that. It's just been painted throughout, so you've got light gray paint throughout. This is the larger of the two bedrooms on this floor. Usually it's used as the master. The last tenants had a king size bed in here with nightstands on either side, plus a wardrobe or a more and a dresser. But you could also fit a desk in here perhaps. This is the closet. It's a little bit on the small side so that's why it's good that the room fits a wardrobe if you wanted to bring one. There's a private deck and backyard that goes with this home and we'll go down and check that out. And then the second bedroom on this level is actually just off of the dining area here. I call it the second smaller bedroom, but it's actually still quite large. You could still do a king size bed in here easily with nightstands. And this room actually has two closets. This is the larger walk-in closet. And then you've got a more standard sized closet here. So let's head downstairs. So uh, I mentioned the backyard, it actually backs up to Rossi Park, which has a soccer area, baseball field, tennis courts, kids playground, indoor swimming pool, volleyball court, basketball court, a little bit of everything. So on the lower level here is a big open flexible space that's kind of divided into three sections. So you've got this room, although it's not enclosed, this room, which is quite large, and then this area here. So what we've seen people do usually is make this like a media room or family room. And then the other two spaces could be used as an office or even a guest bedroom area, you can partition it off perhaps. A second dining area, a study area. Let's check uh, this full-size bathroom here. So you've got two full bathrooms total. This one's just got a shower instead of a bathtub, but there is the bathtub upstairs. And then you've got the garage where you have your own private washer dryer, one car garage, but you could also park a, a compact car in the driveway as long as it doesn't block the sidewalk. Uh, this door uh, leads us to the uh, front of the building. It's a two unit building. The upstairs top floor attic apartment is rented separately. And then the bottom two levels is just one unit. This goes to the backyard. There's another access to the backyard through this back bedroom that we will check out. We've got another nice size closet there. And then the third bedroom, which is also a great size. Again, you could do a king size bed in here. 
good sized closet with lots of shelves and rods, sliding glass door to your private deck and backyard. This is not a shared space, it would just be yours. Very low maintenance yard, it's irrigated, doesn't really require anything but maybe leaf cleanup every once in a while. And it does back up to Rossi Park. I can hear someone out there with their doggy right now. <laughs> And we're also very close to Golden Gate Park and the Presidio. Really great location um, and easy public transportation to get uh, downtown. If you would like to see this home in person, please get in touch with us and we'll get you out to see it right away. Thank you for watching and have a great day.